Uh, let's start now. Uh -huh. Okay. We are going to create this form. It's a very simple form. Hello, a stranger, if no one submits something. And the name is here. It's a, this is a label for a form. This is the field. Okay. When we are saying field, is this one, which has a name, a specific name. We will define it. This is a label which shows to the user. This is a, again, field. We are saying a string field. We have, we have a image field. We have a, uh, also a password, which should not show to the user. So when you are writing the password, you wish, uh, you wish not to show to everyone password. The dot 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 dot. That one is the passport. Passport here. So we have Outlook. It means five. Five feet. We have many fields, which is which is possible to extend from the from the memory field. And we, uh, finally we have something. It's a something. When you stop when you're pushing this one, the HTML code takes this data and will stop me and will Send it to the server. Is it two way to send this data to the server? Post and get. Only the difference is for you. A lot of different. There are a lot of different. But for you is, if you send by get, you will see in the in the URL. You will see I don't know a slash the variable. But if you send by post, you will not see the variable name in the URL. So it's a hidden. You're sending as a hidden variable. But in the server, you get the same, and you handle the same, and etc. Only the trick is you have to open the post method in the routing, which I will show you after this. Another important thing is, all this form will be inside one tag which called form in the shim. So we can put all this tag in the form tag in the shimmel with the action and with the method. In the exercise you will see okay. So the first thing which you have to do it is importing some important uh, um, package in your page, the Python part. Here we import Flask form, then we import from the WTF uh, forms, import a string field, submit field, and etc. if you want to use other things. Then we are using the validator. Validator helps you to check the data in local and in also in the, in, the, in the server side. You, you, should, you should validate in two, two steps. One in the local, one in the server. So you should validate your data. If the data is, I don't know if you are wishing to get the email, you should not get the email in the wrong format. You should get the email name at sign something.com or .pt or anything else. Data required. I, I put the data required only, but data required is someone has to write something here. But you can put also length, you can put email, you can put uh, passport format, which type of passport format you need to get. You can put the file <coughs> that you'd like to have this size, and etc. A lot of, when you, when you are writing, helps you which type of uh, functionality I have after import. Therefore, creating the object or class here is we have to write class. I know uh, Sina didn't uh, start to teach this part, but don't worry. Uh, I guess you don't know what is the object or object oriented. More or less you don't know. But I'm not going forward to, I mean, deeply on the, what is the object oriented. Only imagine you have something Okay, you have, uh, let's say, you are, you are going to build a, a, a one building. Okay, when you are building an apartment, you know you have a, some uh, window, a specific window, uh, you have a door, a 
other things, but you don't know what is the color. Okay? You put this one as a as as a user wishes. So after they buy, they can call. Okay? <laughs> you sell it. You sell with the door, everything, but you don't sell with the color. Then the, the user comes, it takes you. So when it takes, it means you create the object. You create the object, the building object. But the wall doesn't have a color. It comes and it says, okay, I want it to color green. It greens, red, something. What's the room? <laughs> color. Okay, anyway. Uh, it colors and then it says, okay, I want to do this one. Then it goes to sell that house with the color. Then when you want to sell, your object will be vanished. So the user doesn't have that object. Someone else that has that object. Someone else can change the color again, but he cannot change the wall. He can change what's difficult, but it's costly. costly. So it means this is object oriented. So you have a variable you can change when you sell, when you create the object. You can change something in that one. It means it's object. But in the function, you cannot do that. The function, when you change, you have an input, you have an output, nothing else. You cannot change inside. But in object, you can change. So this is object oriented very program. But if you have, uh, you have time and later Sina comes to you and you start to teach you. But <coughs> this is only the, the concept because you will need to understand what it does it mean this one. So here I am creating one class with a name. With the name of the class is name four. It's the name of the class. You can you, you, uh, you can change this one whatever you want. Then I put something here, which as you can see, the same as here. Okay, plus four. It means create for me the class by this class. So I'm taking this house, I am, I, and I wish to build something else on top of this. So I have this house. It's good house, it's a good building, it has a good structure. I wanted to build something else up on top of that. I buy and I build something. So I'm taking this object and I wanted to build top of this this thing. Because this one has some functionality, some attribute that uh, I don't want to build from the scratch. So this is only the meaning. We are saying for this inheritance or uh, heritage. I'm taking this from him the heritage and I am creating other things inside my class. Then you have to, uh, then I am creating two things in this class, name and submit, which has all attribute of this and new attribute of this. So this attribute is exist for this and also I am adding these two attributes. Flask form doesn't have attribute of name and submit. I am creating this attribute for Flask form and I wish to call it name for you can call anything that you want. <coughs> so here, a string field is exactly the same up here. This is a label, name is a label, which here is appears. Then is a validator, equal, data require. <laughs> So, if you put something inside data required, it will show to the user, okay? So, you can write like a, a string, and you should write, a, I don't know, your name, whatever it is. Then is a submit, submit field. So, we will use these two attributes inside our program. Then you finish, to, from, uh, you finish the creation of the, your form. This form comes from your URL. So you have to have a URL. Then you should have this form. Not having form, then you have a URL. Then for object, then for then write the form. So in in the routing, if you remember, I said you you need to put only the method, which it means I am accepting get and post. I am putting also I am receiving I can get I can receive the get method and post. Okay. Then 
we have to define the name of the function, of course. Then you need to define, okay, you have to create the form, can be anything else, it's a variable name, from your, you have to create an instance from your class name form, which is this. So when I'm creating this one, so I can access to name and stuff. Clear? Any question? Okay. So then I will validate it. It's validated. Validated on submit. Can be also is submitted without any validation. Can be. There are a lot of uh, functionality. Here it after that if you write it. Then I will take the data from the post. Then I will redirect to the welcome page. This is an example. I will see the page. But this is a full part, which also, if nothing submitted, I have to show the form page. Form page, I am passing the form and also the name. Name is a noun, nothing is inside. But I am passing the form. Form is important here for me. The form should be inside your HTML code, like this, which has a form that name, that label. Label is Again, is this, and field is this. I will not come back again here. Form that name, it creates the label. Form submit creates the submit button. And you have to put this one, form that hidden tag, which is created by the secret key. If you don't put this one, it, if it <coughs> comes to the server, will not validate it. And it's a fast way to creation form, which I will not use because I would like to have flexibility to creation of, I mean, to write the code in HTML. It's easy, I will show you some, uh, how you can handle the error. So this is a way to show it. If name is exist, write the name, if not, a stranger. And, okay, I will stop here, because yesterday I stopped here exactly. Okay, so if you have any question about the, let's say, it's not theoretical, but it's a part of the slide, uh, ask me now. Otherwise, I can start from the programming. Uh, I can imagine all of you can, if you put install and you, are, you have a, the same version that I have, and you have a, the same UI, but uh, GUI, I mean, the PyCharm. But if you don't have, if you have a PyCharm community, I will show you one part. Only you need to add that part in your page, and it works the same. So you don't need to do some knob to install something else. OK? Let's uh, start the exercise. If you can uh, download the exercise from the web portal, there is exercise in the folder of the Flask. Uh, I guess the name is exercise lab 01, I guess. I will find it now. Okay. Okay. The first exercise is a mixture of the list. So you need to uh, create one list with the name. Then you have to select with the ID. If it's a one, it has to show Elena. Here is wrong. If zero, it has to show Andra. If it's two, it has, show, it has to show Eduardo and etc. So this is a, the question. So what we can do for this page? The first thing which comes in your mind is Creating first, the first things. Create a project. Of course, you have to create a project, all of you. Let's just start together the project, but I wanted to show, uh, tell you the algorithm, what should be. You should <coughs> have, you should import the plus package. Then you have to create the instance from that package, like a plus underscore name equal something. It can be app or something else. Uh, here uh, I call app because 
the automatic in the system called app, but you can change it. Then I had to create one route with the <coughs> slash student slash ID. I'm getting the integer, so I have to limit my input to the integer. So I have to say to the class, hey class, wait, I need only integer, I don't want a uh, string or something else. So you have to put in the bracket int dub, double dot, then the name of the integer could be anything. Here I guess I call id, you can call everything else, anything else. Then I have to return very simple text, return something, that's it. So create, uh, create route, function, return, that's it. Then run the app. So we will go with this. Let's uh, start with the one. Okay, we can use this one, I guess. Uh, this is a, okay. Can I start from this? New project. We can say lab zero one, zero two. I will call because today is a second day for me. So, flask, okay, I have to. Lab zero one, zero two. I will go very uh, slow here. I would like you follow me. I will use the existing interpreter because I install everything, but you can create also in virtual environment. But take care, you are using this uh, correct version, 2.7.15. Otherwise, the system cannot install new packages. Jinja 2, templates. Okay, let's to create. <coughs> New, sorry, I have too many page. Okay, perfect, it's here. Only I do a little bit a small, this part. You don't do this, you don't need you to do this because okay nah, it's not working font maybe 10 okay okay it works now okay can you see okay perfect so now please Okay, everyone could create the project or not yet. Who can create a project? Raise a hand. Okay, is not working or gives you error? No, no, I could. Oh, you could, okay. <laughs> Who can? You can, no? Error?
you like this because if you, you like this here, the other one is found and use the the canvas to do like this. So, because the professional version, it creates for you Flask. I mean, it, it's installing Flask and Jinja and other packages which, uh, uh, which you need. But if you don't have a community version, uh, if you have a community version, I will tell you now, okay? If you are creating a project correctly, it's fine. Only create a project. Don't run it. Don't worry about other part, okay? Let's go for the second part to install the packages. Everyone has a project? Yes? Okay. Let's go to install. If, if you are in Windows, Control Alt S, if I remember exactly. Control Alt S together, it, uh, it opens the preferences. Then in preferences, you can change a lot of things, but in the lab, I mean, mine is a lab, but in the project part, you have a project interpreter. If you are wrong in you choosing the interpreter or something, you can verify here. And also, you can add more interpreter. Some of you, you don't have 2.7 here, but you install it. So you can choose it from here and go in the right di directory, which in the windows is C slash Python 27 slash Python 27.exe. If, if I'm wrong, please uh, correct me. OK? So you choose the right version, OK? If you are using also. Virtual environment is fine. Don't panic. Some of you, you have a virtual environment. Don't panic, please. So virtual environment also is fine. OK? I'm not using virtual environment, but you can choose everything that you want. But should be Python 2.7.15. Upper, not lower. OK? Then, this one is fine. Then you can come here, this page. OK, everyone in this page? You have a plus here, or in some of you here. Mine is here, but some of you is here. Select it. From here, you can write Flask. Choose it, and install package. I have package it, and I have this package, so I'm not installing. So, if you have a right version of Python, should, 
should be in a star correctly. Should in a star correctly. But if you have a Python 2.710, Python 2.73, or something else, we give you an error. Okay? Give you error, which is depends on the SSL, open SSL bar in Windows. So you have to install that one. I'm repeating a lot because yesterday I lose a lot of time for that. Sorry. Okay. So th the next one is a WF, WTF. You need to install this one also. And the second one is Jinja. Okay? I don't know why it's not Jinja. But if you have a Jinja 2, if you have a professional version, you don't need to install. It's installed uh, as a default. But if you are in community version, you need to install this. Okay, everything is okay. So we le let's uh, start to write a code. This is a code. If you have a professional version, this is a code which it will install as a default. We create, we will generate it as a default. Here we have an app.py. If you wish to call something else, you can call, but it's better to keep like this because Flask server as a default takes app.py. You have a templates, templates folder, which is accessible for the Jinja. Then you have a static folder, which is accessible for static files. Only if you are a community version, you don't have to do these two folder, also you don't have this app.py. So you have to create by yourself this part. And these are, these are things that you have to create. I can imagine all of you have a professional one, okay? Because this is a, let's say, tools for this course. So we go forward for, um, for running this page. If you have everything correctly, you could run the application from here, okay? And if you go to this link, If you go to this link, okay, run from the right, top right, here there is a play button, okay, you can click on this and you can see the first text that you put with Flask on the page. You didn't do nothing. You create only project. This is a good if you use the professional one. If you are using community version, okay, I will show you some thing. Only I will go very fast because I don't want to. You need to come to here. This is the community version. You need to come to edit config. You have to create everything as it is for the Python. Only you need to put some parameters that is a dash m space flask space run then you need to put some virtual environment here with which is a flask underscore app you have to give the name of the app flask underscore debug flask underscore environment one and development take a picture if you want I will put near together. Please take a picture if you are a community. Okay? I am recording actually, but now if you want. Okay, I'm going. I'm not using community version. Okay? So, please, guys. You are Corona, please. Okay, now I wish to create another decorator 
with my exercise, which the decorator says, I want to have a, a slash student. Okay? I copy this part. I put here, I put a student, I put here a slash integer, what I want. See, it's showing to you as a default ID. I take this index ID, I can call this one user. Then I can take the slash s something and I will put name here. But it show me the error. It says me name is not defined. There is no reference. Yes, of course, because I don't have any list name here. Okay, I have to create it. I will create. You can copy it, but, but if you copy, you have to change these two part, okay? Because if you copy, uh, it's a word, so I will show you. If you copy this part, <coughs> see, it's not working. So I, you have to change name, like this. So everything is fine, and I will comment this part. Okay. <laughs> now it doesn't show me anything, but I am not showing the. I'm I'm sending all the name to the to, to to this part, which is not correct. So I have to put like ID here, which I will take the the ID like zero. I will take the name zero, which is Andra. So here only I forget to say you something. In the professional version, you need to activate Flask debug here. Okay? If you activate it, so you have to stop and start again, then we will go to the page, we will start. The index, nothing is inside. Student. When I go to the student, slash zero, page not found, because it's not a student, it's a student. Te. Okay. I will see Andra, but if I change to one, I will see Elena. If I change to three, I will see Francesco. So I, I create a dynamic page with this uh, helpful function. So, which one? Uh, okay, yes, it's a hash, and you can do, you can do very fast with co uh, control slash. If you do control slash underline, it makes you, the, uh, it creates you. And if you select like this, you can do control slash. It makes all the line in one time. And if you want to uncomment, again, you can do control slash is uncommenting. So comment, uncomment. Perfect. So uh, I will write here. Comment is control plus slash. Mac comment plus slash uh, okay uh, no, 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 no. this okay so the second one is rendering the page. So I, re I have to render a page, HTML page, and I have to show something on the page. I will go forward more, more, more 
more uh, deeply on this, so I will pass also data to this page. So. The same, I will create a, instead of this, I will create a HTML. I will pass the same list to the, my HTML, but I will not use return ambity. I will use render, but it's not coming here. What, what, what is the problem? Because I didn't import it. I have to re import render template, okay? I will stay here to everyone follow this part. Okay. So if you import render template, I will do something to be in the same page. I will <coughs> change it so you can change the order. So app route. A student HTML I will take user you have to be careful this one and this one should not be the same name otherwise gives you the error the same function cannot be in the same page in any programming language so not only here so render now it is coming it says to you it helps you it says to you Render template needs template on list, template on list. Then the context, context, it means the, the import variable for the, the second page, which I am going to send to that. So I will put HTML, no, not HTML, something else, student.html. Then I will put name equal name with ID. So until now, I take the name with the ID and I pass with the new, new variable inside my page, which the page should be a student.html. But I don't have this student.html. I should create. So I come here. I create HTML file with the student. I don't need to write the extension because it creates extension HTML5 for me. It creates automatic these lines, okay? Yes, of course. I will come here, okay, I will wait for you. I will come to the HTML5, I will click it. Then I will write the name of the file which I wish to create, like a student. After clicking, it will create the HTML file with extension HTML. I don't write HTML here. Okay, and I, I will use HTML5, it's the latest version of the HTML. Perfect. I will not click it because I created. So, here it creates the HTML file, which, which is uh, good because it's generated by themselves. But if you are a community version, you have to create by yourself. So this is again advantage. So here, as you can see, there is a tag. There is a tag. It says document type, which is HTML. Can be XML, can be anything else can be Java script also, but here is a HTML. We leave it like this. Then HTML tag start until here. If you see, when I click on this HTML, I'm seeing here it's just ending. There is a, some header which you can write. Which you can write the title of your page, like a student profile, okay? Then you can write here anything that you want in a body. I guess you can remember I, I used H1 
H1 and many tag is exist. As you can see, H1, H6. And the difference is, I will show you what is the difference. Okay. Hello? I will write pure HTML. And we will see what is the difference. If you use the debug, you don't need to start and stop again the server if you use the debug mode, okay? Debug mode. Where is the things? You have to click, edit config, debug mode. Okay? Perfect. So, I will come here. HTML. I need to put something here, otherwise it gives me error. So, hello, hello. And it's, not, it's wrong also, hello, the first one. <laughs> but it's a typic, typical error of me always. But you can write like this. Okay. As you can see, I go inside this with the ID. If I don't write ID, it will give me error. It will say me there is no page. Because I didn't create a, a student HTML route. I create a HTML, a student HTML slash something. So you should be aware about that. Zero. Okay. So, but I didn't show the name. How I can show the name? This name. You remember I told you there is some tag. Not tag, syntax, let's say. I will put in the P. P, it means para paragraph. Paragraph. I will put some paragraph with the name. Like name. Do you think it will show to me the name? Now or not? Just name. Just name, exactly. Because I need to say to Jinja, this is a variable. So, I will put the name here. Now it will show you me the things. The things. Four. There is no, nothing. So, there is no four. So, for this type of error, you have to handle it to show another page. Okay? Like error handling. But now, I wish to... So, we did this exercise also, okay, with the mixture of the variable, passing the data. I would like to do this one, okay? We have time, because it takes time, but I wish to do this one, because this one also is easy, you can do at home. If you have any problem, please come to me and ask. But this one is more important which you need it in your page. In every type of web page you need form. So, and what it says, it says get name, family name, and email, and create for me one form, which consists of name, family name, and email, and validate it, and then send to the server and show me like this, Mr. Someone, please check your email. So, create a form object, from uh, the form object, then create a name, other things, and create the form inside the web, HTML, and then after submitting, show me in the page. So, I will come here. First, I had to create the form uh, object. The form object, if you remember, I said we have to write class. The name of the class uh, name form. I can do like this or something else, I don't know. User form. Then you have to extend it from another object, which is the flask form. But if I write flask form, it's not here because I didn't import it. So I need to import it from flask underscore WTF import flask. 
Okay. Then, from WTF forms import a string the fields name submit you can write password you can write up a uh, file if I remember file field yes and etc I will put this one etc but here I need something else very important validator so then from validator uh, from flash uh, w okay I guess this one dot WTF dot validator import data required fine or also email also land and also lots of things else but I will not import now flask now flask form is exist I can created from this okay the speed is good I'm not too fast too slow it's fine fast though I will stay tell me but it should uh, complete for you automatically it should complete for you automatically it's not completing Okay, but uh, if, you show, uh, if, if it shows you the red, you don't have a package. Uh, consider that one. Is it red? Yeah, now it's fine. It's fine? It's, okay, so because you have to install the package, here should be, the package should be here. This one. If it's not here, you need to install from here. Okay, this one. No, you don't need to install validator package. It's installing by themselves automatically. If you write WTF form dot validator, it will works. You don't need to put these things actually, but you can remove this part. I'm not using it. It's fine. Can I go on? Yes. Okay. So here you need to write your new attribute. So one of the new attribute is a name. You can call everything else, but you have to remember it. So name is a string field. I need a, a string field with what the first one it says you the first part is label can be noun what does it mean can be noun it means if you don't put label I will take the name of the attribute which you pu put here but I wish to always I wish to please show me okay I wish to have it like name then the second part can be validator but also can be noun validator takes the list of the validator which is a data required you can put here anything that else I need 
this info because something. But if you leave it empty, it makes uh, this data is required as a default. So the second one can be land or something else or nothing. Can be nothing. Or I will put here land equal. No, no, not equal, sorry. Like this. Maximum equal uh, 20. Minimum equal uh, 2, let's say. So, like this. Fine? No? Nothing? Uh, there is a later investment. Okay? Because I want to finish this part. Then, if you want a specific person, if you want, can come after listen to show you. I, or I can come to you. Okay? So, <clears throat> so, then, if you write this line, because the second one, which, which is a family name, it's the same like this, only the, the name of the attribute is changing and name of the label. So you can do the control D together on the line and it makes you the new line. Yes, you can do, but you have to do a regular expression. Which if you want, I can show you later. Not now, but because uh, it's very complicated, but I can show you. Regular expression is, is here. Uh, okay. Reg, this one. Okay. You can use this one. And here, you can use the regular expression. And you have to put here, like this. Then, uh, if I remember, I don't remember actually. But I am doing something, something like this, OK? So this one, it means doesn't put the, the number. But I will remove it because I'm not sure yet. Because they didn't install the yeah. correct version of the uh, Python. Python. Python, Python 2.715 up. If they don't, if they don't, if they don't, uh, they didn't need to. Some of the people who have downloaded the AMD 64 version, which is also Did 2.717 or no? I'll check once again. Check. They only install, download and install again. Because usually, maybe they forget to. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, if you have here, you can write family. And this one, family. Ne or sure, sure. Okay? Perfect? Please, guys, if you have anything to share, you can share with the class. Okay. Uh, okay. The second one, we need email, which is a email. Email. Here you can put this and also email. Uh, email. It's not working. Okay. Email is big. Okay. Like, what happened? Okay. Only you can put email. And this, the last one, but not the least, is submit. Okay. Perfect. You can put only the label. So, perfect. Now you have an object for a form. So you can use this one for creating your page. 
So here we come app dot um, So the the things is form then you put here what you have to put here method after method you need to put post and get so here define form page okay you have to create a name something like a noun or something mpd is not important then name form can be what can be extended from the user form like this then you can say if exist because yes it's a little bit not synchronized or you have to finish this part then go to the html or go to the html and come to here what i will do first finishing the python part then i go to the html part okay if is dot sorry uh, I have to extend from the name form from name form is submitted or validated validate on submit you can do also okay then you can write your uh, after this if if something comes and is validated it comes to this page and you can pass name form dot name dot data to the to the name and you can pass this name to the re, uh, render a slow down okay you have a video okay i have to finish this part but i will uh, i will keep this part for you to see okay only i will write and i will stop you can do form dot html then you have to pass the name equal name which i have if it's not you have to pass also the form because I need it, I know it will show you the error. Form, name, or something, name form, or anything, no, name form, can be name form. That's it. Uh, is something else here? Yeah, okay, now it's correct. You can copy this one and put here. That's it. So, I will stay two minutes. Sorry for that, but the time is flying. I wish I would like to show you the solution. Otherwise, you can do at home also. But it's better I do here and you do at home practice. Yes, I am passing only my name. The red name is inside the uh, But I am passing two things. The form, data, and also the name. The name is this, I show the name, and also I show the form again. Because I want to update in the same way. If I didn't see the name only, I show the form. So, if I see... <coughs> yes. Okay. Uh, okay. If nothing comes, if name form that validated, not validated, name is empty because it's a uh, here. Name is empty. It show nothing. It show nothing. In the page, I will not get error because I do not. I wish to use one page, not too many pages. Okay. So you just will not get error and nothing. If name is empty, then exists. Surely, if not, the stranger will be the Okay. HTML, yes. 
Yeah, here is a beginning. Okay. Imagine there is nothing, so this one doesn't work. So it goes here and it passes the name which is empty to the server. But also it passes the name form, passes the form to the HTML, which I will I will create now the page with the with the tags. Uh, okay, now is five more. No, is it? Guys, the video will be available on YouTube uh, uh, until the end of the week. So don't be panic. I'm recording the screen. So don't be panic. What? Upload. I have to edit it. Yesterday I also recorded. Today I will record. I am recording also. Tomorrow also I will record. But I guess today version I am I am wishing today version will be the complete one which I can upload it. So one of them th that I will upload until end of the week. So you have one week to practice because next week we don't have any flask uh, lab. So in two weeks we will see each other and you have any question if you have we can do it. Okay. Thank you. I will go forward with the creation of the page. So I come to the template. I come to the HTML. Okay. I will. I I called it form. So I will call here form also, guys. Twenty twenty four. Yes, twenty four. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Twenty four. Twenty three. Something like this. Okay, uh, okay, here uh, what, what I need is a first form, uh, form tag. show you now okay I am finishing that part yes guys if you give me 10 me 10 me guys if you give me 10 me it will be finished okay action nothing method Okay, here you put name form automatically gives you the help. Also, which one I want name, I want the label, then I want also the same for not label the date. Okay, then I will make it for short name, then then email, then email, okay? Then I will put the hidden tag, hidden tag. Then I will put dot, submit. Okay. Perfect. The name, which is uh, only the label without the this uh, this parenthesis, but uh, if you are wishing to call some standard, you have to put a uh, so you know it. So perfect. Now the form is ready, but I didn't get the name, which is exist or not. If I will put this one, if name is exist. Show me the name. Else, 
if okay else uh, and if that's it so here I will put the name here I will put welcome a stranger sure okay so I wish it works I wish is this one no okay only I don't know it works or not <laughs> let's uh, start to try I don't know it works or not <laughs> I am a human <laughs> okay where is the it doesn't work because why because I didn't define the secret key if you remember I said you if you don't define the secret key it will not work here app dot config secret underscore key anything that I wish you want can be put here I put in the wrong page. Uh, okay. First, to see where is my page. Is this one. I have too many pages, so. Okay, perfect. So, to view function did not return valid response. Okay, we see what is the problem. Some problem here. Ah, return. There is no return here, guys. Okay. Okay. Now we have a four. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am recording this video because. Uh, I didn't have time to finish the part of the testing uh, form uh, and uh, maybe you see the difference between the previously uh, video and this video but I, I edited after okay as you remember we we created the, the, the form like this we created the route for this form and we set up and we config methods to post and get so in this form page uh, i define name b empty you can do also noun is the same okay in some session i did noun or you can do also this is the same only here we are set up nothing we are set up a string b empty so here i am passing the name also and in this two line i can avoid this line also in some session i did avoid this is it works also and if you set up this you can uh, pass also more data maybe like a name family name and email uh, we will test this page and to see what's happening uh, if you go to the this link as you can see it shows you stranger welcome stranger okay welcome stranger here you can write Muhammad then Ghazi Vaki then m dot Ghazi Vaki gmail.com or something else we can write here you can say submit 
after submitting as you can see you cannot see nothing here because something is not matching with their validation we don't know what is but it's something so why is not the, the page is not showing any error because the error validation is a two step one validation is in local which now is here says please fill out this form the other validation is in sorry is in the backend or in the server side which is in this page in this page we are saying uh, validate my form okay validate I mean submit so it will validate on this object which is coming with post in this object so as you can see I am not returning to another page I am working the same page when my object is created in this page the flask will take care about everything if you don't change the route the URL request or URL or your request or if you don't change the request and the new po uh, request comes with post not with get with post not with get this object will not create it again okay don't be confused with other type of programming language please and please use in this way the managing of the form don't create a new page for post of your page if you if you wish to create a post link is good but but if you are working in a simple page like this or you are doing one action please don't create the new link anyhow as you can see here i validated so the new data comes to this page and comes here i'm saying validate my page validate my data because if it's in submit validate my data it validated it goes inside if it's not validated it returns again the page okay so what happened it means this one if if i am not receiving any new things and always is noun so it means this line didn't execute it so what happened do you think i will try with another may to see what's happening and it works as you can see muhammad adivakili muhammad at gmail.com so i had some error in my page but i can't show and i cannot see what was my error i should come here and to see the object yes of course because m.qazivakili at gmail.com is more than 20 character if i change this character to 30 and we come here and we submit again the form i will see there is no error so there is no error for my page but but again my problem didn't solve i increased the validator on the server side but again i'm not seeing the error if there is an error like this if it's more than i don't know but 80 80 90 90 0 0 let's try and it works again now it doesn't work because it's more than 30 character so what i have to do is managing the errors in the view page but but one important information for you is always always error comes with name form actually with the object my object will return my object will return one 
list with the attribute errors to my page I'm not seeing here but it will pack to this object and will return which here I called it name for it to, to, to my page which is this page again in this page and if if and only if I use this lines I can show the errors but why I am putting in the list let's see what is inside the errors if I print name form dot email let's say for email because for each each new attribute I have errors see dot errors comes email I am I, I will I would like now only show er, uh, or errors from email but you can show others I will show it and surprisingly we will see this error comes with uh, only one more to say to be sure surprisingly we will see failed must be between 2 and 30 character long and surprisingly again if I change this one and I will see two error in one 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 list so what I get is errors is a list and maybe is consist of many maybe it consists of many error so because of that reason they called errors in in this in this programming language so what i have to do is to be sure if i is one it is two if it three i cannot understand how many is or usually so what i did is i am putting these errors inside the one for loop which is in the in the slide uh, I explain how it works actually the, the, the work is with for you can say the local variable which is error in name form until here it should be maybe different with you because you should see what is the name of your form but name form dot error dot errors is a one list so I wanted to separate it uh, sorry I'm explaining a lot but I don't know your background so I am I would like to say maybe too many times and very clear this thing should be very clear for you because it's the basic so you should know the basic so here I'm printing only the error so each time this four goes takes one list from uh, one attribute mm, let's say one value from the list and will put to the error and prints and the second one and third one and if there is no third one it goes out and it comes out and that's it as as we can see here uh, here we have a two list and here says must uh, field must be between 2 and 30 long and the second one is invalid address and you can you can do something like this p and we will see in the bootstrap part how we can make it very beautiful also if you won't wish you can check my my github and you can check the project complete project i put a lot of error and i'm handling a lot of error for email uh, family name like name and also for other field i i repeat this part usually and um, you can put in the p and you can say it also maybe i yeah like this is better okay now we can say also number of form but okay feel this thing and usually sometimes you are seeing this part after the this part uh, after the submit and usually they are saying uh, h6 like h6 uh, ok 
okay and then you are seeing they are saying uh, you have error You have error and error. Actually, let's try it. And error. Okay, we can do this one very big. And three. Okay. Sorry. And you have it. This is your error. Okay. You can make it coloric with the red or something else, and you can make it what you want, actually. Let's. Let's see if we don't have any error. What happens? Okay, I submit. There is no error. There is no thing. So we are very happy now. Okay. Uh, thank you, guys. I stopped here, actually, last week. And um, that's it. For In two weeks, we will see each other. And uh, I will try to upload the next session by next week. And you can watch a video before. Please watch it. I am trying. I am spending my time to record it. Please watch it. And we will see each other in the lesson. I will repeat my, my, my activity in the... In the lesson and if you have any question you can ask also i will record the lesson thank you so much and if you wish you can watch the next uh, video which is uh, exercise and uh, thank you so much and see you soon